What's up, WAIC candidates? I am Flash Isaac, and today I'll be sharing with you chemistry syllabus for WAIC and hot topics you need to read. Now, this uh, video is for two sets of persons. Those who are wondering, what are the topics I should read for chemistry in WAIC? What are the hot topics WAIC set under chemistry? Now, the second set of persons are persons who have gone through syllabus for WAIC chemistry and they are wondering, yeah, this syllabus is covering all the topics. Now, why is it not syllabus? Why is it covering all the topics? Is everything we are reading now? Is there any need? Yes, there is need for the chemistry syllabus. And you are actually not covering everything. The syllabus lists almost all the topics in chemistry for O level. Then it says you what to read under each topic so that you don't go off point. Because most times, even science students, you read so much that you still fail. We read and read and read and read, read off point, read out of point, read in point, read within point. At the end, you fail and you'll be like, what you read didn't come out. So that's wrong. If you actually follow the syllabus, read what you're supposed to read, stop as you are asked to stop, you'll be good to go. Now, chemistry is the study of the composition, properties and uses of matter. So that means you'll be talking much on matter, uses and composition. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space, and matter exists in different forms, solid, liquid, and gases. So matter can change from one form to another, and this is called change of states. And matter has particles, made up of particles, which are electron, proton, and neutron, no, uh, which has atom, molecule, and ion. An atom is made up of electron, proton, and neutron. And even proton and neutron are made up of smaller particles, or particles called quarks. So you should know about matter, you should know about organic chemistry, organic uh, stores, you should know about measurements and units, you should know about reactions in chemistry, you should know about chemical bonding, you should know elements, compound and mixtures. Element is contains only one atom, compound is two or more elements combined chemically. Why? A mixture contains two or more elements combined physically and they can be separated meaning you should learn separation of mixtures so these are summary of what you need to know in chemistry let me go deep into the syllabus so as i'm going through them you'll be seeing the syllabus on the screen and the things you are expected to cover so the first thing you should know in chemistry is introduction to chemistry which are the measurements, scientific methods. Then you should know the structure of atom, various atomic theories, atomic number and atomic mass. Separation techniques for mixtures. You should know periodic table, periodicity of elements, periodic lots. Bonding, types of bonding in chemistry, hydrogen bonding, intermolecular bonding, and comparing all types of bond. You should know stoichiometry. The states of matter, kinetic theory of matter, change of state of matter, diffusion, gases, characteristics and nature of gases, the gas laws, Boyce law, Charles law, pressure law, Graham law, Avogadro's law, general gas law and other laws. You should know the laboratory properties and preparation of some gases like hydrogen, gas, ammonia and carbon for oxide and also physical and chemical properties of gases. Energy and energy changes, that is enthalpy and entropy. You should know acid bases and salt, their definition, properties and classification. The concept of pH and how various salts are prepared in the lab 
the solubility of substances. Then you should know chemistry of carbon compounds, that's organic compound. Carbon forms a whole lot of compounds. To the extent we have chemistry for carbon, to show you how carbon bonds. Carbon is pentavalent and it bonds from other elements to form various compounds, various organic compounds. So you should know organic chemistry, very important. Then you should know about chemical industry, then basic biochemistry and synthetic polymers. For Ghana students, So that is it for chemistry for YAC. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.